What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. I'm talking about Scream 6 in this video here again today. So Scream 6 dropped a new image of Ghostface yesterday via USA Today originally being the first to share this image in an article I believe that hyped the releases coming up for 2023 like most anticipated movies of the year or something like that. So this image is a grand shot that makes uh or a great shot i'll say that makes ghostface appear in control superior and whatever subject i would assume is beneath them is effectively established as being in danger again assuming someone is actually beneath them during this shot now here's why someone is probably beneath them and if you don't want any minor spoilers that again i would compare to being equivalent to finding out water keeps you hydrated or that the grass is green then you can click away viewer non has revealed that this shot is from the opening sequence which could mean a chase scene is either about to begin during the sequence or it's already been complete with the victim losing their life as a result who is the victim for a past year i know i brought up devin dakota as a person who wandered away from a party uh but some of us are already aware that the opening involves a tinder date gone wrong a tinder date from hell and that's also coming from viewer non so that theory of mine while it sounded fun to some of you that of course is not going to be how the opening plays out so ideally, this could be a, a date who ultimately ends up being Ghostface, revealing themselves as Ghostface to their victim, and then a chase begins as a result, and this could be the final moments of that sequence either ending or beginning uh, at, if it's a chase that ensues after they reveal themselves as Ghostface. Uh, it's apparent also that the opening would also have to occur outside. So either on the Blackmore campus, I would imagine, or out in New York, in, out in a New York City alley or something. Shout out to you, Kay, because I know you also pointed out that the mask seems wet. So could the opening have a light drizzle to it because apparently there might be some rain in scream six and some in some aspects of it some other nice details people have noticed is that this is potentially the third different mask we've seen so far in the marketing so is this further proof that we will have three killers or is it that simply what or do they just simply want you to think that in order to throw you off from an even bigger surprise for people who are thinking about a cult or some other stuff related to the amount of ghost face killers you would like to see in the movie three killers or not i just need the story to make sense more than it wouldn't make sense because i'm certain writing mishaps and logical fallacies will pop up but as long as it doesn't outweigh the logical stuff then i don't care how many killers there are if it's executed well i i actually will take that back I take that back. As long as it isn't a one Superman show like Roman ended up being, then then we're fine. We just need to have a competently written story that makes more sense in ways than it would not make sense. Because I'm, again, certain there is going to be some illogical things that go into the story, similar to how I've seen some illogical aspects to any of the screen movies. The first, second, third, fourth. Just as they've just never been so idiotic to the point where it was completely nonsensical. So the other thing we need to talk about in this mo or in this video before I wrap it up is Kirby Reed. Uh, before I touch on Kirby Reed, I will say this. I know that the opening sequence for a lot of people, they are starting to or they think anyway that they are starting to piece it together and they know who's in the opening. They know what's in store for the opening. I'm pretty sure you don't have any idea what they have in store for you when it comes to this opening sequence. I'm pretty sure it will have several people who think they have it figured out completely floored. I'm also pretty sure that when you see the opening sequence, you will be like, I was wrong. I was way off. And that'll, of course, be something that makes a lot of you, myself included, very happy to see because I just think that going off of what we already saw with Screen 5 and how easy that opening was for us to figure out, they're probably going to try to out outsmart the viewer in more ways than one during this sequence. That's just what I would say you should go into expecting. I would say go into it expecting that because I can't see I can't see them just giving it all the way like that in the marketing because it was given away to us in the marketing of Screen 5. So with this one you know, I'm pretty sure it's going to catch you off guard. I'm pretty sure this opening will catch a lot of people off guard. But just to jump into Kirby Reed, Kirby is rumored to have a limited presence. And this is just something I want to talk about because it has so many people up in arms. I'll say this. One, stop assuming the worst because the worst is not going to happen. She she can still die. That's not what I'm referring to. I'm referring to limited screen time, limited presence instantly, meaning she's in one shot, then gone for the next shot. That's just not going to happen. Uh, everything 
everything that she can still die i'll say but everything leading up to that fate of hers definitely will not be a lindsey wallace situation like what we saw in halloween kills and halloween ends when they chose to bring lindsey back hater herself has had already made a splash in screen four with what you can consider a limited presence there she's only in the movie for like 11 to 14 minutes total of screen time so i would say stop thinking about that and consider how significant her short appearance can be if they spread it out across the movie to again make you think that she's on screen more than she actually is which is what tends to be the case when you come to find that certain people that you want to see a lot of you really didn't see a lot of them compared to the runtime presence that uh other actors involved with the story had we know she's not even the main focus of the story so expecting her to be in every sequence anyway is pretty silly to me anyway um uh, but again, I would say, yeah, stop stop thinking about it like that. Think about it in a way that examines how are they going to use her? What is she doing when she's on screen? We also have already seen her share a moment with the survivors. We've seen that from a leaked image. We we know that her favorite Friday the 13th movie is apparently part four. We find that out in this movie. We know she's in the FBI. So there's so many things that indicate, especially the FBI part, that indicates that she will actively be involved in solving this case. So the thoughts of her limited presence, meaning she's going to be underutilized, or just leaving a lot a lot of context out that ultimately will just make those thoughts wrong by the tar by the time March does roll around. Her limited screen time means nothing just as much as her abundant presence would mean shit if she's used in a meaningless fashion, which she won't be. She's not going to be. Similar to how I boldly said that Stu isn't alive and he isn't the killer in Scream 6, I'm going to also boldly say that Kirby Reed's return isn't going to feel meaningless and she will be very relevant to the story despite this limited presence. It's definitely a limited presence that is using her in the best fashion possible, I would I would think. Also, there is no there is no fucking article that says she's going to have a limited presence because the user that claimed that cited their source as everywhere. Yeah, that's some great source there. <laughs> don't worry about kirby in scream six because whether she lives or dies they are not squandering this return leading up to whatever her fate will be i'm telling you right now that is going to be the case when you see this movie it is not going to be a squandered return hayden herself also has stated that you will not be disappointed there's just also so much other further evidence that pushes us in the direction of thinking that limited presence doesn't mean assume the worst for how she's utilized she will be utilized quite significantly even though her screen time when you find out how she how how much you actually saw of her it was very small she's going to be used just fine just remember that <laughs> when the movie comes out in march she will be fine let me know what you guys thinking about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications and never miss a video in the description i'll have links on social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video